Hallo, Katrin hier with European Paper Crafts in the US. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I am so glad you're here. Today we are back on the farm. I have two beautiful die cut sheets for you and the projects I have created with them. So let's get started. Last week I shared with you the Farm Sweet Farm papers by P13 and uh, I made an envelope folio. So I'm gonna link this video below. But this week, I still use the same papers because they are absolutely adorable. And I have two die cut sheets from Find It, and this is Precious Marika, the uh, cuddling on the farm. And I thought they just matched this paper pack perfectly. So we got some geese here with sunflowers and a uh, pumpkin. So this would even go for early fall cards. There is the rooster and the uh, beautiful sunflowers, excuse me. And then as the third embellishment, we got the cute little bunnies here with the sunflowers. So those die cut sheets have three embellishment, one embellishments, one, two, and three. And then of all the different layers, and all you need to do is just uh, push them out and then layer them with foam pads. The second one from the same line has a rooster here again with some beautiful fall flowers and a pumpkin. There is the rooster with a old fashioned milk can sitting on a flower pot. And then here on the bottom, we got him with uh, some blue flowers and there's also a hen there. So just gorgeous die cut sheets. Now let's see what I have created with them. And we're gonna start with this beautiful pair here, the rooster and the hen. Um, I used for all my, well, almost all my cards, I used uh, craft cardstock. And then of course there is my white panel in here. And then this beautiful background paper from the Farm Sweet Farm. And another one that I inked the edges a little bit, the doily comes from my shop. And here is one of those tickets and this is from the ephemera tickets, also a P13 Farm Sweet Farm. And just one ticket, happy with you. And of course those two, uh, this pair here, I thought of it's just perfect. Then I layered all the layers, but one, there was one extra flower that belongs down here, but I put it on a corner just to finish it off with a little bit of stickles. And now it's done. And I think it came out so cute. Okay, uh, moving on to card number two. Here I used a dark green shimmery cardstock. And again, there is my white writing panel. Here I have this busy background with, be with those beautiful farm animals, but I offset it with just a little bit of wood grain paper. I uh, distressed the edges. Uh, same uh, with this part of um, the, the brown paper, I distressed the edges. Here is my rooster. Love, with the, love that they have pumpkins there, just perfect for the upcoming fall. And then same here, I used the flower that really belongs on here. I added it to the corner, all with foam pads and one of the tickets that says farmhouse. These are so adorable, I think. Now... Um, my next, let's see, here's the next rooster. Okay, so that's the third one. And um, what I have done here is just used up a little bit of scraps. I had, uh, so first of all, this is a, a dark brown shimmery cardstock where I made my card blank from. And here I added uh, this beautiful flower background paper it has the poppies on there, so, so gorgeous. But I only had a smaller strip. So what I have done here is I used my corner, uh, my, my, not corner, my uh, border punch and punched a border from this paper. Um, and I think it came out cute. Hearts always go, go uh, well with the uh, country farm look. Uh, again, one of the doilies for my shop. Uh, this doily here I just punched out and then there sits the rooster with this 
old-fashioned uh, milk can. Some glitter all laid up now with the um, with the foam pads. And then here I made my uh, self a little tag sending big hugs. I just uh, etched it with some uh, stamping ink. And then here again is one of these rub-ons. And those rub-ons I introduced earlier this summer. They are from the uh, Gardenia Leaves rub on transfer sheet. There are six transfer sheets in here in all these beautiful colors. And um, I'm working on this green one. There even comes this little tool and uh, they rub off very easily. And I have used them quite a bit and see there's still all this left. And then of course all the other sheets I haven't even started yet. Um, yeah, so still using this one. I think I'm definitely going to use this one for fall because it's got this nice orange color. And then I also like these two for my winter cards. I think I'm going to, um, or even the red ones. So yeah, very versatile and uh, easy to use. And just, you know, a little bit goes, um, there it is, a little bit goes a long way. And see, it goes over the edge. So it kind of blends in my tag. I think it's a great look. So that was the uh, first sheet. Uh, this one was uh, the one with all the roosters. And now I have the other sheet for you. Okay, and here is this cute bunny. Again, uh, with little, uh, little um, materials. Again, a card blank with this craft cardstock. And then I got these uh, just a strip of paper, a little bit of uh, green paper. This um, I, it's also coming from the pack. It's one of the back one. It's one of the uh, B sides. And then here is my embellishment. It's all layered up. I made my own tag with this thank you, uh, which is a sticker that I have in my shop, as well as those beautiful glittery sticker lines. And then here is one of those little tags with a. Uh, garden shears so I thought this would look nice. Next here are these two beautiful geese in this country uh, scene. Good times I thought was matching this scene very well. I have uh, again layered all the different papers. You can play around with it. That's really the fun part. A little bit of paper crimping here. Good times is one of those tags and then on this craft card stock again. Very simple, very quick. These cards come together very quick, but still there's a lot going on because of all the beautiful ingredients. And then to finish it off, I uh, made this little card here. Uh, this is uh, part of the uh, paper. There is this, let me show you. On the, uh, in the paper pack, there is this beautiful country scene in here. And sometimes I'm not sure how to use it. So what I have done here is I cut it apart. This one here I fuzzy cut and used on one of my cards from last week. And then I had this part with this beautiful garden shed or yeah, maybe, yeah, it looks more like a garden shed. Um, I had that left over. So this is what I did. I um, just made a square card so I could use this entire background, rounded my corners. Uh, there is one of the pieces from the paper pack uh, fuzzy cuts that come on the back of the cover. And then of course here is this gorgeous uh, rooster in front of that beautiful garden shed. And nobody would ever know that these are two different lines, totally unrelated to each other. One is P13, the other one is um, the Precious Marika Find It. But I think this is the fun mix and match materials that you have. And then when I open it up, I have just a, a little pocket here. Here is one of the, uh, yeah, one of the beautiful, cute paper clips that I introduced last week. These are the jelly clips from uh, Cuddlebug, uh, I mean Doodlebug, down on the farm and there are four in here. And then I just added a 
cute little tag from one of the pretty papers that sits in here and that could hold your message. You could actually embellish it up front here as well, but I'm probably going to, um, this is probably where I'm going to add a gift card. And then I have another pocket here. So yeah, that's uh, my third card. So I hope you enjoyed this trip to the countryside. I had a lot of fun making these cards. The uh, products are just so beautiful and fun to work with. And if you like this video, I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this video with your crafty friends and family. This would really help my channel. And um, if you like, these cards will be, well, not this one, but these five cards will be up for grabs in a value pack on my on my website so please go and check it out if you're interested but thank you so much for spending time with me today please stay or get well happy crafting and i'll catch you next time bye bye